In this video on AutoCAD Fundamentals, we're going to discuss drawing lines with the line command, visual references such as grid and snap, the erase command, and how to repeat a command. We're now going to talk about drawing lines with the line command. The first thing I want you to do is take your graphics cursor and go up to the home tab draw panel and you'll see the line command is on the far left there. I also want you to notice that AutoCAD does an excellent job of giving you an idea of what that particular command does. If you if you hover over a button for any length of time it will usually expand out and show you either a video or an image of what that particular command does giving you an idea of how it works. It's very very helpful. I also want you to notice at the bottom of that you can see that it gives you the text command if you want to just type in the text command instead of hitting a button um, you can actually do that so to draw a line we could actually just type in line hit enter and it would start the line command as well or L and enter and it would start the line command so if I go ahead and left click then on that particular button you're gonna notice at the bottom in the command line it says specify first point AutoCAD expects us to identify the starting location of a straight line before we do that, I want you to take a look at the coordinates area at the bottom of the screen. The three numbers represent the X, Y, and Z directions and location of our cursor at the moment. We're going to draw a freehand sketch of a five-point star using the line command. So I'm going to go up here, I'm going to start, I'm going to left click somewhere in the drawing window, and this is going to be point one of our sketch. If you notice, when I move my cursor up and to the right, um, the coordinates are changing on the bottom and the rubber band line follows the graphics cursor in the window. If I left click again it will end that line and start the next one. And so I'm going to go ahead and continue on through this and draw a few more points. Finish out my star and then to actually finish the line command it re because it remains activated even after we've connected the last segment of the line to the starting point I'm going to click once with the right mouse button and a pop-up menu is going to appear on the screen and that pop-up menu one of the things that I can do is select enter and it will complete the command very often experienced AutoCAD users will do it this way the other option is you can also hit enter on the keyboard the method we just used to create the freehand sketch is known as the interactive method where we use the cursor to specify locations on the screen it is rather difficult to try to create a line of a specific length by watching the displayed coordinates AutoCAD provides us with many tools to aid in the construction of our designs for example the grid and snap mode options can be used to get a visual reference as to the size of objects and learn to restrict the movement of the cursor to a set increment on the screen. The grid and snap mode options can be turned on or off through the status bar. If we zoom in and look down here on the status bar we'll notice that the second button in is the grid mode and the third button in is the snap mode. This is where we can turn these on and off. All the buttons in, in the status bar area serve two functions. The first is it shows you the status of the specific option, whether or not it's on or off. The second is actually a button that toggle switch that can be used to turn these options on and off. When the corresponding button is highlighted, the specific option is turned on. When it's not highlighted, it is turned off. Another advantage of this is the buttons in the status bar can be switched on and off in the middle of another command. We're going to go ahead and left click on the grid option and you'll see that a grid appears on screen. I also want you to notice in the command bar that it says grid on. The grid option creates a pattern of lines that extend over an area on the screen. The grid helps you align objects and visualize the distance between them. The grid is not displayed in the plotted drawing so when you print this out you won't actually see the grid. It's just to help you construct objects. Another option for turning the grid on and off is by selecting F7. Next we're going to talk about snap mode. To turn the snap mode on, all I got to do is left click on the snap button. As I move my cursor around the screen, I want you to notice how it jumps around. What it's doing is it's snapping to individual points on the grid. Also, notice the coordinates at the bottom and they are only going by 0.5, in, or 0.5 unit increments. The snap option controls an invisible rectangular grid that restricts cursor movement to specific intervals. When snap mode is on, the screen cursor and all input coordinates are snapped to the nearest point on the grid. 
I'm now going to create another sketch of the five point star with the grid and snap option switched on. Notice that by doing this with the grid and snap on, I get a much more accurate star. We're now going to talk about using the erase command. One of the advantages of using CAD system is the ability to remove entities without leaving any marks. To pick the erase command, I'm going to go to the modify toolbar. In the modify toolbar, you want to look for the one that looks like a pencil with an eraser on the end of it. Once I select that, you'll notice in the command bar, it says erase selected objects. We're going to left click on the snap mode to turn it off, or we could press F9. Once we've done that, we're going to select any two lines we want to on the screen. I'm going to select this one and this one. Notice that the selected lines are highlighted. To deselect an object from the selection set, you hold down shift and then select that object again. And now it is no longer selected, but we can select that line, for example. Right click once to accept the selections and the two lines are erased. Quite often in CAD you want to repeat the last command. Inside the graphics window if we click once with the right mouse button you'll see that the repeat erase is at the very top. Whatever command you did last it will give you that option to repeat that command at the very top. AutoCAD offers many options to accomplish the same task. We will emphasize the use of the AutoCAD's heads up design interface, which means we focus on the screen and not on our keyboard. Move the cursor up here to the upper side and click, left click, and then drag it down here to where we have a blue box surrounding everything on the screen. See it's a rubber band window of sorts. Then if we go ahead and left click again, all entities that are inside the window are selected. If we right click and re select repeat erase, everything will then be erased within the entire drawing.